Welcome to another video. We are going to use that thing you learned in Algebra 2 or in Pre-Calculus. It's called completing the squares to deal with this. Because the way this is, there is no way I can split this into pieces. It doesn't help me. So what I'm going to do is effectively use completing the squares and make some wonderful outcomes out of this. So this is one of those MIT integration B problems and sometimes they are easier than they look and sometimes they are very difficult depending on how you think. So if you think right, you're gonna get it right. Let's get into the video. Obviously, this is an improper integral, but this is not what bothers me. What bothers me is how to deal with a quadratic sitting on top of an exponential function. So, what I'm going to do is recall something I know. I know that if I can write this to look like e to the negative u squared or e to the negative something squared and I integrate from negative infinity to infinity du, I know that my answer is going to be the square root of pi. I know that. All I'm thinking now is, can I write this to look like this? If I can, I got my answer. If I can't, then it's hard. But you know that you can make a perfect square out of anything up here. So that's the idea that I had right from the beginning and I'm going to see if it works out. Actually, I know it works out because I've done it. Okay, so let's look at this. Firstly, let's isolate what this exponent is. Okay? We're going to say this is the same thing as the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative. Now, on the inside, we're going to have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Let's use this part of the board to do the work because it's going to get amazing. So look at this quadratic 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. I can factor out because for you to complete the squares you have to have the leading coefficient being plus 1 and this is not plus 1. I'm going to have x squared plus 5 over 2x plus 3 over 2. That's what I have. Now I need to ignore this two and go back inside and complete the squares. It doesn't matter what's outside. This is what's important. So what I have now is this is going to be equal to two times on the inside. I'm going to have x squared. Now what would I add to this to make it a perfect square? I have to halve this and then square it. So half of this will be, so this is going to be plus 5 over 2x plus Half of this will be 5 over 4, and the square of that will be 25 over 16. But because I've added 25 over 16, I have to immediately subtract 25 over 16, and then I go to this one, that's plus 3 over 2. So this is what I have. Nothing has changed, okay? But from what I have here, this is 2 times. You see, this expression is the same thing as x plus 5 over 4 x, sorry, 5 over 4 squared. That's what you call completing the squares. And, hey, wait, there's still a giant parenthesis outside, and then this is going to be minus 25 over 16 plus 3 over 2, so it's minus 1 over 16, so it's minus 1 over 16. That's what we have here. Okay, so, and now, that's it. <laughs> Can you see that? That's it. So, this is the same thing as 2 times x plus 5 over 4 squared minus, if I distribute this to, it's going to be 1 over 8. Nice. So, I can go back here and say that this is equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the minus 2 times 
x. So I'm going to distribute, so minus 2 times x plus 5 over 4 squared. This minus is going to multiply this minus and it makes it a 1 over 8. So as you can see, e to this times e to this, I can pull out e to the 1 over 8. Let's write one more here. This is going to be e to the 1 over 8 times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative 2 times x plus 5 over 4 squared. It's beginning to look a lot like what I'm looking for. Look at that. So I don't need to deal with this guy anymore, and I just need this to look like e to the something squared. So right now, this has to be a square. How do I make this a square? Just write this as square root of 2 squared. So this is going to be, let's go back here. So this expression is going to be equal to e to the 1 over 8 times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of, here we go, e to the minus the square root of 2 times x plus 5 over 4, everything squared. Okay, hey, where did I throw my... That's a crime. <laughs> okay, I got too excited about completing the squares. I lost out the dx's. Okay, so I got my dx. So now, I'm almost there. If this is e to the negative u squared, then I can say let u be equal to the square root of 2 times x plus 5 over 4. So that du is going to be, the derivative of this is going to be the square root of 2. Everything else, that's it. dx. So that dx is going to be 1 over 2 du, 1 over 2 du rather, which implies that dx equals 1 over rad 2 du. So I'm going to take this, go put it back here, replace this with u, and that's it. So this is, it. oh, by the way, we got to do the infinity kind of stuff. Okay, I don't want to waste time on it. Because I need to know what u, where u goes to as x goes to negative infinity. As x goes to negative infinity, this expression goes to negative infinity because this is negative infinity times a scalar that's positive, it's still negative infinity. And you add a constant to negative infinity, it's still negative infinity. So nothing changes. And for positive infinity, it stays positive too. So I can come here and say now this is the integral. Or oh, oh, I have e to the 1 over 8 on this side. Okay, times from negative infinity to infinity of e to the minus u squared. But my dx is now times 1 over square root of 2 du. Okay, which is the same thing as if I pull this 1 over square root of 2 e. So it's going to be e to the 1 over 8 divided by the square root of 2 times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative u squared du. And we know that this is the square root of pi. I told you from the beginning, right? Okay, so this will be equal to e to the 1 over 8 over square root of 2 times square root of pi. Oh, which means I could combine these two square roots so that my answer is e to the 1 over 8 square root of pi over 2. That is the value of this integral. Okay, remember to watch the other video if you want to know why this is the square root of pi. It is. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.